In today's lesson, there is an important concept of Python and all programming languages called exception handling. What do we do in exception handling? We control different runtime errors. If there is an abrupt execution, termination of the program occurs and the program crashes. To save our program from crashing, we implement the exception handling technique. It will handle any error that occurs in runtime and it will not let the program crash abruptly. The program will keep on executing in a sequence. We can control the part of that code at which point there is a chance of an error occurring through exception handling, like if we have zero in mathematical division. This is a mathematical error. It is an infinity error. So if this kind of error occurs, the program crashes. To save it from this kind of crashing, we have the technique of exception handling which we implement. This is not a long or hard lecture. There are some syntaxes to write it through which we handle our error. The first example I have written is that if we have created a list and at that point there are chances of an error occurring, I have placed that point in the trial block of exception. There are three kinds of blocks in it. Try, catch and else block. In try block, that code is written in which there is a chance of exception occurring. Immediately after that, try, the handler exception handling is created in it, and in that handler you can display any message of your choice which would indicate that at this point or in this block error is created and this handler handled it. Now the list I created here, its indexes are 0, 1, 2. When I will print one index, it will be printed correctly. But when I will try to print its third index, so this is my out of range index. At this point, what error should actually occur? If I run it, so it has given an error of index out of range. Now to control this error, our program that crashed abruptly, if I will run it now, it has given us the output of the first one. And on the second part, an error occurred. The block which had the chances of error, after that it created it through exception and our program did not crash abruptly. This is our first output, after that it controlled the point on which an error had occurred. If exceptions had not been added at this point, our program would have crashed here. The next output after that it started executing the program line by line. This is the biggest benefit of exception handling. How else can we handle it? Let's look at a few more examples. Created a function, did function call. If here same a and b, if 3 minus 3, same comes for both, zero division error will be created, which will create this exception. But if the output of the try block is correct, in this case, there is no chance of zero, so it will not run the case of exception, but will come to the else block. Whatever result will be computed of try, it will be printed in else block. The first time it did function call with two, three arguments, its answer was minus 5. But when we pass the second argument in that, the answer is supposed to be 0. Division by 0, so not on else block, but the exception block, it went in it and handled the control of our program. Our program did not terminate abruptly. Our program did not crash. One method to handle else block is this one. In the last one, if we, it is the example of this one, one of division by 0 that if we place the value of a 3, so it will be division by 0. The chances of an exception being created is in this block. So we place this whole block in try block. Now when I will run it, what output will it give? It gave output that an error occurred and handled because the value of a is 3. 3 minus 3 will be 0. So what will happen here is mathematically our program should crash here. It generates an error at this point if we still had not used exception. Exception of division of 0 comes. Zero division error occurred. How did we handle it? We handled it with the help of exception. Now our program will be executed according to our control and will be terminated according to it as well. This is the benefit of exception handling that this facility is available in all object-oriented programming languages.